How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you are doing? Check it out. Charlene Lyles. 30 years old, pregnant. Uh, mother of four. Now, this woman over there in Seattle, it was a black woman that was um, subsequently shot and killed by the police. Uh, she was having she she called the cops for a burglary, a burglary that happened uh, in her home with her four kids. And for somehow, some way, she had a knife in her hand. The cops responded to the call that she put in. And then it was a stalemate. It was a stalemate in the house. Then her sister came home and tried to warn the cops that the woman had mental illness. Please don't shoot her. Shoot me. And then they shot her. Okay, and as simple as that. Um, she didn't charge. She didn't lunge at the cops whatsoever. But black people got to learn something. Okay? There's some unwritten rule that you can shoot mental people. Um, people that mentally have mental issues or or mental evaluations is more than one time I seen in my times of looking at the news and videos and so forth and so on that a mentally ill person got shot. The first thing this woman did for her sister is get in between the cops and say, Hey, she's mentally ill, uh, or she needs your help. Okay? And soon after she said that they shot her. Okay, there's some unwritten rule out there that says it's okay to shoot mentally ill people. Okay, now black people in general is becoming uh, as, as much as long as they live in this country more mentally ill by the generation. And this is documented through um, uh, 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 surveys. And since black people are coming much more mentally ill in this country because of all the adversity <coughs> all the adversity and the pressures and the crime that happens around the neighborhood and they become mentally ill and you know, how they was raised and so forth and so on by generation by generation this cops seem to be more uh, in tune of shooting these mentally ill people for some reason for fear of their life it is unbelievable how the police department and the police department around the United States of America are afraid of African American people and then when she came on she put a, she put the few on a fire on the whole situation by telling the cops this woman was mentally ill, and she had a pair of scissors in her hands. She survived by four kids. Four kids that was in the home. No kids were shot. The kids were so the kids are living with their parents right now. But in police eyes, this is a clean shooting. One, she was mentally ill. Two, she had a weapon in her hand. In person, anything. Uh, I feel I believe a few decades ago this would not be a clean shooting, but more cops have become afraid for their lives in in certain situations that in in neighborhoods that are dangerous and so forth and so on. They are shooting first and ask the question later. And the biggest, biggest, the biggest. Um, thing right now is mental illness. Okay, I've seen another view, another another news clip where a woman came outside of her house while her child, oh not a child, her 
a grown man, about 40 years old. She was coming up to the cops. She called the cops on her son. And he was carrying a knife at the time. And the first thing that came out of this woman's mouth, knowing damn well the cops would kill her son, was that he was mentally ill. And soon after, the cops shot him down. Women see all this crap that's happening to mentally ill people or potentially mentally ill people and how many times the police in shootings use the connotation of the word mentally ill to justify a police involved shooting. And you see it all on the news all the time. It's one, two, three, four, mentally ill, mentally ill, mentally ill, mentally ill. For some reason, black people think that's going to give them some kind of leeway with the cops. All that's going to do is put more fear in the cops and the more fear of protecting their life. And what happens is they shoot them down. They don't care if they're a man. They don't care if they're a female. All right? It's a license to kill when the person is mentally ill. <laughs> Please, black people, stop calling the cops and and, 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 and and say somebody in such and such, a friend or family members, are mentally ill. Okay? These people are killing these people. Okay? If she's taking a little medicine and so forth and so on, does she deserve to die? Is she so different that she got to take some medicine and it disturbs you so much to think the first thing that comes out of your mind is that she's mentally ill. This is your loved one. Okay? Learn what the cops uh, 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 fear and don't fear. Okay? Uh, adjust to the cops. Okay? And, and, and it's getting ridiculous. And personally, soon later, every black person is going to be mentally ill in every freaking call. If this didn't happen already. Alright. And this is a damn shame. Her name is Charlena Lyles. 30 years old. She was pregnant. And. She lived in Seattle. Alright. I'll, I'll uh, put a link of. Uh, of of uh, the story in the description box and you take care this is world war prime